kvci.blogspot.com. Dr. Robinson, we went to a meeting the other night, and was you impressed with the 98-year-old lady, Miss Brown? And we gonna we gonna listen to her as we drive through this area here. But she did call for the young people uh, being able to be educated as well as getting gainful employment. Am I correct? Yes, I'm very impressed. Mm -hmm. So what what? what I was wondering when I listened to and read, rather, the Valdosta Daily Times, and although Ms. Brannon was 98 years old, I didn't see where they put anything in the paper about her, but I think her comments were worthy to be listened to, so we're going to listen to her as we drive through this area here. And if you have comments, you add comments as we go, and we'll just kind of pause. We're not in school anymore, but we still are. She talk about helping the children in the community. Is that is that not what Jane Wright concerned about, Councilman Wright? Well, trying to help the people yes, in the community. Yes, yes, yes. Um, really, she's 98 years old. Yes, sir. And she have a very a whole lot to offer as far as her wisdom and her her knowledge. Mm -hmm. She's seen this place change. Yes, sir. Okay. And Jane Wright, what he what he's speaking on and about the education and the economically oppressed. These old houses is, is a good presentation of, of the time standing still. Mm -hmm. This is the communities that was neglected mm -hmm. uh, that he's referring to uh, when he goes talking about the analysis of impediments. Mm -hmm. And old houses like these in the neighborhoods yes, and sir. the communities. Yes, sir and streets that don't have sidewalks and for, for the handicapped and people that's impaired. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can look, look, look how close the house is to the street. Mm -hmm. See? Sometimes you look, you think you're back in the 30s when you look at some of these houses, but why are you writing? Little has it changed in the metro city. You think it's just all the cities, or what do you think, Doc? Well, um, I don't know about all the cities. I know we got conditions throughout America, mm -hmm. and there are similar conditions in all the communities, mm -hmm. but uh, Valdosta is our focus. Yes, sir, that's and true. And based upon the things that they claim they had done, mm -hmm. of the 2005 or six mm -hmm. impediments, mm -hmm. In comparison to the analysis of impediments of 2012, they read virtually the same, mm -hmm. from what I understand. Mm -hmm. And from what you found mm -hmm. was that they keep offering the same, same old, same old. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know? And by offering the same old, same old excuse all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the community mm -hmm. that's being neglected. Mm hmm. You see? All right. Well, let's listen to a little Miss Brandon and mm -hmm. she talk. We're going to go on through this neighborhood here. A good thing to do as, as citizens. And, and, and how we can go about it to help us. And whatever, let's just have to get to. We'd like to be able to do it. And we'd like to see our children go forward. And as you say, we, we need to be educated and we need a job. And we're going to have to be Yes, uh, we are just riding through Valdosta. You know, this is a picture of Valdosta 
these are sights you don't see every day. But for some reason, I'm a firm believer in what Jesus said, and that is that ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall set and make you free. So regardless of what people say, this is indeed the real picture of Valdosta. Close this out for us, Doc, as we close this out. Well, I don't think you can get it no plainer than this. This is where the monies never reach these people here. The money that's been allocated, misappropriated, misappropriated funds for these communities, but the need of these communities that get the money from HUD, it seems as if the money never reaches this place here. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be able to prove that the monies that was designed and was allocated for these communities was not used for what they was allocated for. And that's going to be backed up by evidence provided by Mr. James Wright, um, city council member, from evidence that they have because he was on the board when they did not do the things that they should have done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're going to have the proof of this. All that right. Is facts. All right. This is kvci.blogspot.com. And don't you all complain about us revealing and showing what is. Because I assure you, that if this was not here, we wouldn't have nothing to show. What would that? You got that right. This is what it is, ain't it? It is what it is. All right. Until next time. Bye-bye. We're gone.